Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today, what to do if your windscreen washer jets aren't working? I'll take you through a few simple steps and hopefully it will be a nice, easy fix. But before I take you through all the steps, let's have a lovely cup of tea. Now I've got a Volkswagen and to activate the washer jets, you just pull this stalk towards you. And the washer jets should just spray out from underneath the bonnet straight onto the windscreen. Now the first thing to check is that your jet nozzles aren't blocked up and for this you're going to need a needle. So take out a needle, just be very careful with this. Then go out to your windscreen washer jet nozzles. On mine they're underneath the bonnet but yours could be on top of the bonnet so just locate where those are. Now on mine you've got two small holes. So just take your needle, be very careful and just poke around in there. You might have bits of dirt in there, bits of moss, bits of debris from any water. So just give that a really good clean and hopefully you might get out some debris that's been blocking out your jet nozzles. If not, you can actually take it off and give it a blow, see if you can blow out any debris. If not, you may have to buy some new ones. And next, now the prime suspect for these not working is because it's the middle of winter and it's a freezing cold day. Now this is great fun if you're a puppy Dalmatian, it's great fun if you're a great big kid like me, but it's not so good if you're driving your car or your van because your windscreen washer jets can freeze up. First thing you need to do is try and find out if the pump motor is actually working. For this you'll need to open your bonnet and find the location of the screen wash bottle. And normally the pump will be on the same side, probably underneath the wheel arch. So get a glamorous assistant to squirt the stalk. And I can hear the pump working so it's not that that's at fault. Now if the pump is engaging like this one, it probably means that you've got frozen water in your screen wash reservoir. And the first thing you can try is fill up a jug with hot water. Don't make this boiling hot water because you don't want to melt anything. Just make it nice and hot. Then open up your screen wash reservoir and just pour in the hot water. After we've done that, we'll put in some screen wash and make sure it's nice and concentrated. Whilst I'm doing this, there's a link above now about how to check your battery using a multimeter. Now hopefully if you've got screen wash in there already, it's probably only a little bit frozen. Now I've got some concentrated screen wash here. And as you can see in the summer, you only need 10% of this concentrated. But in a severe winter, you can use actual concentrated screen wash neat. But normally it's about 50%. So just make sure you've got plenty of this in your screen wash. And there's a link above now about how to disconnect a car battery safely. And this will be a prime suspect in the middle of winter where your screen watch actually freezes. And if it does freeze and you activate the pump, it can blow the pump or it can blow the fuse on the pump. And we'll check that a bit later on in this video. Now you can also check the nozzles. Obviously it depends what kind of car you've got. Try pouring some warm or hot water on your nozzles and see if that clears them. Now this one has actually cleared mine, so that is fantastic. But if you're activating the stalk for the windscreen washer jets and you cannot hear the pump, then the next thing to check before you go worrying about the actual pump is check the fuse. Now depending on the model of your motor will depend on where the fuse box is. So try and locate the fuse for your windscreen washer pump. If you don't know which one it is and you don't want to pull out every single fuse to test them, there's a link above now about how to check fuses using a multimeter without having to pull them all out. So on this one, the fuse is actually blown. So all you need to do is just replace this fuse and hopefully that will fix it. If you haven't got a blown fuse, the next thing to check is your actual windscreen washer pump. Now on my particular vehicle, it's down here on the left hand side, on the passenger side underneath the wheel arch. And this is the windscreen washer pump here. Now make sure that this isn't frozen, make sure that the pipe there is not split and make sure that it's plugged in correctly and that the plugs aren't corroded. If you're handy with a multimeter you can check the pump by pulling on the stalk and making sure that it's got 12 volts to it when you engage it. If it hasn't then it's time for a new windscreen washer pump. If that is all working then it could be that you've got a split pipe somewhere. Now on my particular Volkswagen T5 the prime suspect is here because every time you open the bonnet or the hood this pipework bends and over time this gets brittle and the constant amount of bending it actually eventually splits. And if I activate the jet washers here you can actually see it spraying out of the split there. The easiest way to fix this split hose is just to cut it and then put a joiner pipe on there. 
Now if you've still got a problem with your windscreen washer jets and your windscreen washers, it could be a problem with a relay. Now some vehicles have a relay unit for this and then these will be in your fuse box. And they will look like these relay units here. And the other thing that it could be obviously is it could be a fault with your actual stalk unit or possibly a frayed wire or short circuit somewhere. Hopefully running through all of those steps has helped fix yours. If not, I hope you get it sorted soon. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.